Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com. And today we're gonna to make a custom modular stencil with inserts. One issue a lot of customers have is that, you know, let's say you're making rum, well, you might also be making whiskey, you might also be making other things, and have them all in the same facility in different barrels. Now, one solution to that is just to make a different stencil for each one. But the other solution is actually to have an insert. So here's the stencil here. I know it's hard to see because it's transparent. So there's a Mylar stencil, and this is the insert. So what this does is it goes inside of here. So when they spray paint the head of the barrel, they can say which, uh, what are the contents basically. And they just need one of this and a whole bunch of these. The main reason for doing that is it's very much cost effective. And also I include, of course, the insert with nothing on it. So if they just want, you know, just a generic one or something that's, you know, one off, then they can just write it down themselves and that solution is there. So all of these stencils are made with Mylar and they're made with the laser. One thing that's overlooking by a lot of customers is the need for inner supports. And more specifically, any font works, any graphic works, anything works with a stencil, absolutely no problem. You just have to make sure you have inside ports supported. Because in par inside parts, if they're not supported, they fall out. So let's say, for instance, you have an O. If the inside of the O falls out, you still have an O in the stencil, but it doesn't look very nice when you actually use it because it's missing that inner part. Now, as for the inner supports, generally what they are is they're roughly, depending on the size of the stencil and the material we use, uh, they could be between 1 8 inch thick and they could be 1 16 inch thick. Uh, we can do a little bit thinner depending on the material, a little bit thicker if it's a really big stencil. You know, there's no real cost to that. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is the supports need to be supported in multiple spots. Because if you just have a support at one spot, you have something hanging down or hanging up. And more specifically, when you roll up the stencil, if that's what you plan on doing with, let's say, a polycarbonate or mylar, uh, those little things can not come off, but they could bend and that kind of stuff. So generally what I recommend to customers have at least two or three support areas for every part that would want to fall out. So let's say you have like an E. Well, for an E, that little part inside of the E, if you have a support at the top and the two sides, then you have a solid E and you won't have any issues with it. Now, when it comes to different material options, they're, li they're totally limitless uh, when it comes to making custom stencils. In this case here, it's Mylar. Uh, generally, we use poly carbonate, we use plywood, we use mild steel, uh, we've done stencils out of acrylic, we've done stencils out of rubber. Every material is a plus and a minus. So you might think, you know, stainless steel is the best material to use. Yes, if you're using fire. But the disadvantage to using stainless steel is that laying it flat on something that's not totally flat is not very useful because you have underspray from the, from the spray from with the spray can. Now, if you have something that doesn't need to be totally flat, uh, then it's pretty good, but if you do, well then that's where polycarbonate, mylar, and very thin plastics come into play. Because you can put them, you can see through them, which is a huge advantage as well. But as soon as you put them flat on something, they stay flat on it. And so you don't have a lot of underspray. No, you never have a perfect stencil, uh, meaning that the imprint will never be perfect, just like a rubber stamp. When you put it over something and you spray, spray will sometimes get where you don't want it to be. But if you use the right material for the application, generally you have a pretty good stencil. It's a little bit like, yeah, just like rubber stamps. You know, we make rubber stamps out of uh, wood, we make them out of rubber, we make them out of plastic. Now the plastic ones generally go for pottery because they need something very hard. And plastic doesn't really support, or acrylic doesn't really support ink very well. But you know, we can make a wooden stamp and it stamps just as good as the rubber one. Uh, but it just isn't good for multiple uses because it tends to wear out faster. And also, there's no give with it, it's too hard. Now for the custom stencils, uh, size limitations, there aren't really any. Uh, we have multiple machines here in the shop that can make that. Uh, the biggest stencil we made was probably about, I'd say four or five feet square, and that was done with the router. And the reason for that was because it was, I think, quarter inch or one eighth inch, no, I think it was quarter inch plywood that we made the project out of. They came out great, and their application was just using water. So it's fine for plywood, but I wouldn't use plywood for flame. So let's take a close up look at the stencil. So you can see, I'm trying to get the contrast with the light so it's easier to see. 
Easier said than done when you have something that's transparent. But you basically have the name of the company, when it was filled, and so forth. So you have all that information here. And then what they do is they put this on the barrel head like this. And they have this piece here that they put on top of it. Again, it's kind of hard to do if you're not doing it actually on a barrel. And what they do is they just put tape all the way around and then they can spray paint it. Now we do also offer other solutions. So let's say you're doing a big production run or need something that's a lot more durable or something more specifically that you use fire with. With mylar or polycarbonate, you definitely do not want to use a propane torch because what you end up doing is having a nice fire in your facility. But we can also make them out of stainless steel or mild steel, but stainless steel is better because it doesn't, it's less prone to rusting. So you can do that and then use your propane torch. Now this idea can also be applied to stainless steel. Uh, just let us know what you want and we'll make them for you and ship them right to your door.